What's up, glitches, and welcome to part 10. Yes, 10 of Demon Souls. When last we left off, we killed Flame Lurker, we killed the Dragon God, and we killed the old hero in the Shrine of Storms. Now we could go and fight the Storm King. But... <laughs> Let's let look let's let's check our world tendency. Oh, the shrine the archstone of the shadow men, that's us right here. Uh is is pure light now. Hmm. We should we should we should go back to Island's Edge for to to, to see if anything's changed. Hey! Where's the scary skeleton? There he is! But wait! Who's that guy? Wait a minute. Who are you? Do not be afraid. You have much to gain. Uh-huh. Uh I yes. Ansky. I seek a keepsake of my father. Have you seen the sword inscribed? Makoto. The Makoto. I will offer you demon souls. I will offer you demon souls if you can help me find it. The Talk to you again. Uses its master. But be warned. The Makoto is no sword for the faint of heart. Huh. Okay, so we gotta help him find a... Uh, find a family sword called the Makoto. Where could that be? Well, obviously I already know. Well, obviously you already know too. Where's the one place that we saw a treasure that we definitely could not reach? Hmm. Hmm. Also notice that we're in pure light tendency. These guys give us a little bit more souls because now we're in pure light tendency. Uh, in pure dark tendency, enemies get um, in pure dark tendency, enemies get harder and uh, enemies get stronger, but they drop more rare items. And in pure light tendency. Uh, Enemies drop more souls, uh, become slightly easier, and and uh, drop more souls. Also, huh, this is the body that was up there before. There's no body on there anymore. Huh, how did that happen? I need to get rid of some stuff put that in the storage that too um hmm. don't need a dagger uh any useless armor uh, oh actually we can get rid of this i don't need the master's ring the master's ring is useless to me uh clever rat could be useful but like very situationally let's throw that in storage too the Magic Sword Makoto. A cursed katana that has appeared in folklore throughout the ages. Named for Makoto, the giant who lived in a distant land. Long ago in a distant land. I, Aku, the great master of darkness, unleashed an unspeakable evil. But a foolish samurai warrior wielding a magic sword stepped forth to approach. Wait a minute, you're not, you're not Samurai Jack. No, it is me, <laughs> Makoto, wielding the magic sword, Makoto. Squish! <laughs> and so Makoto the giant died. Anyway, 
Countless unique teeth have been carved into the blade. These teeth ravage the flesh, never to heal again. Cursed weapons like the Makoto are said to devour the wielder's essence and rob their warmth. Numerable warriors continue to be taken by the Makoto's allure, nonetheless. Oh, that is a lot of bleed. That is a lot of bleed. Okay, that's why. Also, that's a lot of damage. 200 damage for a, a, a katana? It's actually, that's almost as much as the Bone Smasher's regular. Uh, huh, that's impressive. Huh. But yeah, like, yeah, the Magic Mac Sword Makoto is a very strong weapon. Very, with, uh, with a lot of bleed, too. So you, you inflict bleed in, like, two slashes. But... It, as it says, it will slowly drain your health. Uh, oh, uh, let me swap this out for the Talisman of God. It is faster to just teleport myself out of here. Hmm? Okay, good. Oh, hello, maiden. Oh, actually, before, before I forget, like, let's level up. One, two, three, four. Four level ups. Oh, boy, what do we spend it on? Uh, this will make our bow a mar our bow very strong. That's good. Oh, we can buff our bow str we can buff our dexterity straight to 20. That will be 20 20 20. Or we could buff our magic. Mm. Tempting. Tempting. Uh Wow, we need four we need more than four for another magic memory or for another magic memory behind me. We have uh three magic memory. We could get four, but I think you need like twenty four twenty three or twenty five strength or intelligence to get that much. Um hmm. Okay, you know what? L yeah, let's F it, let's let's go with our let's get our dexterity up so that we have an even 20 across the board. Next up is uh intelligence. Um I don't think we're going to go with faith for now. I don't think we're going to go with faith. But we will go with intelligence soon enough. So the world might be mended. Yes, okay. Um Shrine of storms. Also, uh, I have, like, a little bit of a burger left. Uh, I had a burger earlier. Uh, I have a little piece of, uh... uh oh. Um. Mmm. Delicious. A little piece of burger left. That was a big burger. Hmm. Okay, man. I found your katana. For no particular reason, I'm going to put on this protection spell. Anyway. You have blessed your good fortune and, uh, well, good work. Just hand Makoto over to me. <laughs> Give the magic sword Makoto? I mean... It's a cursed sword. You shouldn't get- you shouldn't take this. I- You know what? We got it for him. Let's give it to him. Yes. Here you go. Let me take a bite of my burger. This luster, it's finally mine. <laughs> but could this sword really be as deadly as this?
so yeah. He betrays you. And we take back the magic sword Makoto. That's it. That's the end of the quest. Um, and uh, I think by killing him, we've also turned this place back from uh, from pure light to, to like neutral. But uh, yeah, if you want uh, if you want an additional reward, I think you tell him no. Uh, if you tell him no, like you don't give him the sword, uh, then I think he brings out his own sword. He brings out his own different sword. And then uh, when you kill him, then you get his sword too. Okay, one last bite and we're done. I'll... Delicious. Nom nom. Anyway. Uh, Thief Ring, Ring of Everest. Yeah, we're good. Uh, we got our spells and defense. Let's go! Now to kill the boss of the final boss of this area. Also, I found another soda. Uh, I found a uh, bottle. Hey, uh, like, it's it's not empty, but it's close enough. Oh, that is a giant Cthulhu Stingray with an army of smaller Stingray on its back. Meet the Storm King. These little guys, that thing, that's the Storm King. These little guys are nothing. Ow! The jerks. <laughs> yeah, you could, uh, you could hide back here. This. Ah, some holy arrows. Okay. I mean, we could do this the long way. Picking at these guys one at a time. Or... Oh, wait, actually, you know what? Let me just hide back here for a second. Let me throw some stuff in the, uh, put this storage. Put these in storage. Throw these in storage. Throw that in storage. Keep those. Uh, there was the, the magic sword Makoto. Let's throw that in storage. Why am I throwing stuff in storage? Because I want to make sure I can fit this. Shade stone chunks. Nice. Where's the other one? Oh, the other one probably ran away. Oh, well. What is this? It is the original Mac Daddy of Boss Killing Weapons. And for those of you who have played, for those of you who have played Elden Ring, does this look familiar? Or for those of you who have played, uh, digging, uh, Dark Souls 3. It is a very heavy, very heavy weapon, though. Look at that power! Sadly, this, uh, 
Well, you know, never mind. You know what? I'll save that for later. I'll, I'll tell you guys after. But yeah, this is the first fight that does the whole, like, use this specific weapon. Because otherwise, the boss is practically impossible to kill. Like, you could shoot every single one of these guys with, uh, freaking, um, you know, a bow and arrow, but it would take forever. Hey there, Stormlord! Die! One more! You know what? Let's go for a triple. How about a triple? One more! Can we fit one more in you? Yeah, yes we can! Okay, now he's probably a little too far. Gotta wait for him to... Okay. Come on! Die! Okay. I was hoping to get all of them. Oh! Yoink! What is this? Oh, it's shooting a bunch of... Ah! Okay, that actually really hurts. Okay. Slash! Slash! And it is over! Suck it! Let's go! Fuck yeah! That's so cool. Yeah! The Storm Ruler! Freaking power of the storms. Anyway, we got pure cloud so cloudstone and the storm demon soul. Ah, I love this moment. Uh, 150 power. Uh, you can upgrade it, but it don't. We won't really do anything. Uh, a legendary large sword with a barbed blade, named for one who quells or controls storms. It is said that the ancestral shadowmen rent the very storm clouds from the sky with its might. Abandoned for an age, the sword is badly deteriorated. Deteriorated. But what remains of this once mighty weapon is still enough to send foes flying. If wielded in the forest of monoliths, graveyard. Resting place of the ancestral spirits, where we are right now. Its power to rend the sky might just be reawoken. So yeah. If you use the storm ruler in like the storm ruler is a is a very big weapon. If you hit like okay, yeah, that's not okay. If you hit if you hit enemies with the Storm Ruler outside of this area, uh, like, sure, it, it's, it's neat. It'll knock them down. It's good for knocking down enemies. Uh, but it, like, if you want this, you want the Storm Ruler, the real Storm Ruler power, uh, you can only use it in here. You can only use it in this specific area. But if you wanna, if you wanna, you wanna, 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 hold on. Actually, let's check this first. Perhaps this, perhaps this demon, flying beast, resembling a gigantic stingray, is a manifestation of the thoughts and feelings of the shadow men who worshipped it centuries ago. But if you reload the area. one of these gives practically to like almost a thousand seven hundred souls every single one of these about a thousand seven hundred souls 
That is crazy. Also, those guys respawned. I just realized those guys respawned. Okay, actually, you know what? We're, we're, we're switching priorities. Kill them. I want the... I want the, the rare materials they drop, I think. Oh! Dang it! Okay, that one got away. But... We got some p pure moonshade stone! Yes! Okay, that is exactly what I needed! That is the that is the material I need. Hold on. How many do I have? How many do I have? Okay, I have moonshade. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have a lot of moonshade moonshade chunks. Remember, uh, this weapon, the Crescent Falcon, that I'm using. You know, my main magic sword weapon, machete weapon. Um, it uses uh moonshade stone. So getting a pure Moonshade Stone is completely random. It's RNG. So getting it out of that guy, super rare, super rare, super great. Okay, I'm going to see if, first off, I'm going to kill these guys more. I missed. There's one left. Get it. Yeah. Storm ruler. It's so damn cool. Anyway. Ah, okay, good. They did respawn one more time. I'm gonna grab this. And then run 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 run. I thought I knocked it down long enough to kill it. Oh well. Come on, please. Some chunks. Moon stage. Okay, perfect. You know what? Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's exactly what I needed. And uh, I think these guys only spawn three times. And then after three times, they stop uh, respawning. So, you know, you'd, you, you could do that for that stone if you want to use my weapon. Or weapons like it that you that you enchant with uh, magic. But uh, yeah, if you if you want some uh, easy souls, you know, equip the equip the armor piece that gives you more souls. Um, equip the storm ruler. Equip the ring of avarice if you got it, and then just teleport to the monolith forest. Boom! Kill the stingrays. That's like an easy twenty thousand souls ish around there in like seconds assuming they don't kill you but yeah like just best place to grind for souls no matter what also before i talk to her can i make anything out of these boss souls Bravo. thank you let me i am a human okay all you're offering me is a fireball which is cool but i don't want a fireball i want something cooler come on Hey, what about you? Oh, is Preacher that man. God's wrath. anti ma Wait, you got that from Storm? The Storm Demon? Wait, you got that from Storm? Huh. I completely forgot about this. Huh. Okay, first off, second chance is useless. Don't get it. Don't get it. It is useless. Trust me. Do not use it. Don't get it. Um... So the second chance, the way it works, um, it's essentially, you know, you die uh, or if you run out of health, it'll bring you back to life, quote unquote, by refilling uh, a small chunk of your health. But if you got hit by a strong enough attack that killed you in the first place, 
That strong enough attack might do enough damage to just cancel out the second chance and kill you anyway. It's like, and it uses two slots. It's not worth it. It's pathetic. Literally, it'll be like, I, I, I got second chance. You, you don't stand a chance. Gets hit, dies anyway. Because it, it doesn't give you enough health to survive that. Pathetic. Uh, God's Wrath is decent. It does decent damage. It does, uh, it blows enemies away. If you're near an edge, you can potentially knock them off. It's neat. Uh, and in most Souls games, you can use this exact spell, uh, to just knock people off cliffs. Anyway, uh, the Magic Field. This spell. This spell is amazing for one reason. One specific reason. Remember the Cthulhu guys? In the Tower of Latria. <laughs> Literally use this spell and they are harmless. They can't do anything. They can't hit you with an AoE. They can't cast a thing to grab you. They don't they don't grab you normally and stab you unless they already stunned you with their magic. So use this spell. And everyone, admittedly including you, including you, everyone including you, cannot use magic around you, including those Cthulhu guys. If you use this in the first area of Tower of Latria, the Cthulhu guys are, are just pathetic. They die, like, they, they, you could just kill them without any problem whatsoever. It trivializes the Tower of Latria, the first area, specifically. I am getting that because that is a good spell. God. I'm probably not going to use it, but still good. Also, I just realized I should probably get rid of uh, the water protection because I don't need that anymore. I can just get the better I, oh, tank as promised. Hold on. Uh, get rid of protection and water veil and replace it with Warding, the, the stronger protection. I mean, it could put it fire. A little bit of fire. Always good. Always good. Hmm. Nah. Also, cloak can potentially be pretty useful in certain circumstances. Just saying. Anyway. Uh, we have 131,000 souls. We can do a lot with that. <laughs> we can do a lot with that. Can we upgrade our weapon here? I don't... Can we? No, we can't. Dang. I was really hoping I could. Okay, you know what? Okay, I, okay, I'll have to come back to your... Go back to your brother. Uh, smithing rounds. We're gonna... We're gonna buff up our... Buff up our magic sword. Our magic, magic uh, crescent falchion. Oh, it's pure white? Wait. I wonder. Hold on. I'm trying to remember. Does this place even have anything in pure white? Tendency? Oh, well, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, no, no, yeah. In, the, in this place... Right, because I keep forgetting because look, it's a, it's an outside mine. I keep forgetting that this place eventually becomes the dragon area, <laughs> the dragon god area. So, okay, yeah, pure light gave us the dragon bone smasher. Pure dark will spawn a a monster thing down there that you could kill for a uh, colorless demon soul. Also, I should kill you. What did I get? Hardstone shard. Eh. Fine. That is risky because the fall could kill me. Also, I still have 129,000. I just realized I forgot to use them. Okay, so glitches, glitches. Hey, glitches. So, this soul, the searing demon soul, flame lur the flame lurker. A source of great power. So, there was one piece of dialogue that this guy said off screen that I didn't, that I, I mistook. I 
Each ore has a mighty weapons, the highest grade of Look, right here. Pure ore that shines in utter brilliance. The highest grade. The highest grade. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. Yes, that's the Okay, there we go. A searing demon soul. With it, I can forge new breeds of weapon. Bring me your most powerful souls. Give him the flame lurker soul. A wise choice. Bring me a demon soul, and I shall use it. For Ooh! I can use the thing for that? Okay, that's neat. Oh! Okay. Uh, spoiler! Okay, okay, um... Okay, so first off, can I do this? I have two... I cannot. Dang it. I need more spider stone shards. Dang. Okay, but I can I can definitely upgrade this. Yes, okay. We got plenty of moon moonshade stone shards from killing that one reaper guy and, like, he was my grinding spot. So I just got a bunch of moonshade stone shards from him. We got chunks from those uh, lizards that we killed earlier. Plus, we were lucky! seriously lucky to get a pure moonshade stone sh shard and that is it as strong as it will ever be an a in magic tons of power it's about uh how much damage 250 about 284 284 yeah 284 284 with each slice. And uh, if we were able to swing this thing, 360 damage with each swing. But it's a heavy sword. 30 strength. Jesus. Wait, I can upgrade my... Why? What, what would that even do? Huh. Weird. Uh, but yeah, we gave him the Flame Lurker Soul. And that lets him be able to make boss weapons. However, if you've played Dark Souls 1, you kind of know how how that works. Okay, so I'm going to just tell you right now, I am not a fan of how Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1 do their boss weapons. Um, because, you know, uh, let's say... I don't know. Let's say I want to make... Uh, Oh, actually, you know what? This. This. I, I guess we'll go with this. I have the Silver Catalyst. This is the Insanity Catalyst. Way stronger. Uh, but I need the Golden Demon Soul. Spoiler. Uh, in order to make it. Very strong. Uh, but, like, other cases will be, like, really awkward. It'll be like, hey, you need, if you want the fiery, the fire long, the super special demon fire longbow, you have to have your regular longbow at specifically level three. If it's level four, you can't do it. It needs to be level three. And then you need to give me a fire demon soul to combine with it to make, uh, to make the super special bow. Or, hey, uh, you're regular falcon sword needs to be specifically level 8 in order to turn it into the legendary demon slayer sword or something uh, if you have it level 7 or level 9 it will not work it needs to be specifically level 8 and it specifically needs to be either a straight sword or a falcon anything else it will not make it to that weapon very specific very bs i'm not a fan Okay, I, I will flat out say that is not a thing I like. Also, I'm just going to upgrade this Dragon Bone Smasher because it's badass. And <laughs> because I have the Colorless Demon Soul, I might as well. How much damage is that now? Oh god, that's, that's practically 400 damage now. God, I wish I could use that. 300 though, that's very... Okay. That is a very expensive weapon. Also, it just occurred to me, I could just freaking do this. I keep forgetting that I can just do this. And yee! <laughs> but yeah, uh, we we got our, our, our sword, our 
our little falcon sword will now is now as strong as it will ever be uh we have access to boss weapons if we feel like making one very unlikely if i'm being honest here uh let's throw some stuff in here if there's anything uh yeah i could put the storm ruler away it's only Actually, I might grind off screen, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Hmm. 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 I'll put it away for now. Uh, I am going to pull out a few... Light bow... Arrows for no particular reason. And, uh... Okay, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me see. Okay, we can either go to Poison City, or we could go to Cthulhu... Cthulhu Bloodborne Land. Uh... Well, I mean, we could go here, but we would get our butts kicked if we went in there. Uh... Oh, where's the maiden? Where's the maiden? Let me let me use my souls. Let me level up. One, two, three, four, five. Five level. Well, five and some change. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my God! Five level ups on intelligence is still not enough for another magic memory. What the hell, man? Okay, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. I need two thousand souls. Okay. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Twenty-four. I need twenty-four in order to use in order to get that last magic memory slot. Oh, uh, hold up. Yeah. Like, look right there. Uh, directly to the on my shoulder. The three that changes to a four. That way. Right there. Uh, that's almost worth it just for the extra slot that I could use. So I could use that extra slot for, like, invisibility. And that invisibility would be very useful to just, like, run past a couple enemies. But... Mm, let's keep it at 20. That's a lot of health. That's a whole hundred more health. Frick. Oh, I could put four. I could, yeah, I could almost level up to the Dragon Bone Smasher if I really wanted to. <laughs> uh. Frick. I don't want to level up Faith, if I'm being completely honest. I just don't need it. Like, what am I going to do with Faith? I, I only need the teleportation ability. <laughs> Let me level up my luck. <laughs> Let me, let me level up my luck and nothing else. <laughs> Freaking luck. Uh, luck increases your item drop rate and your resistance to specifically plague. Uh, plague is only found in one area of the game. Uh, you could probably guess what area that is. Uh, it's, it, it's nice to have plague resistance, but like... You don't really need luck, if I'm being completely honest. Unless you're using one particular sword that gets stronger with luck, but... You know, who uses that? <coughs> Me. Aw, uh, anyway. I am so tempted. Because just from, like, magic gains alone, that would be very useful. And we are strong enough already, in a lot of ways. Plus, we'd be able to use our armor and long-range magic more. I'm doing it. Okay, but we're not putting anything else in intelligence for the rest of the game. Okay. You say then I was I am great. Do you see? What is it? Oh, it's better than having you talk. Okay, I am going to attune 
Uh, cloak. I mean, fire spray would be fun, but not really. Like, we already have the best long-range magic spell. The best physical defense spell. And, uh, protection against water, protection against- or protection against fire. Some fire spells that we can use. Uh, there is one better enchant weapon, but my weapon's already magic, so it's kind of useless to me. Familiar's prank is very situational. It's basically- it's probably just better to use cloak. Just makes you invisible for a little bit. Be careful how you use it. Careful how you use it! <laughs> I am a scoundrel. Okay. Uh, Tower of Latria or the Poison Swamp? Prick. <sighs> well, first off, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just go and jump off a cliff real quick. And actually, you know what? I'll probably call this apart. And then next time, we'll see if we can knock out... Uh, if we can knock out the... Tower of Latria. Uh, do we go for the Tower of Latria? Do we go for the Tower of Latria? Dang it, both of the areas that are left over are a pain in the neck. I don't want to do either of them. <laughs> uh... I mean, one's cooler, but the poison one would probably fit best for last from for story reasons. Would make more sense for last. Uh... Frick. It. We're going to the Tower of Latria. Fine, we'll go to the Tower of Latria. Can I buy anything from you? Oh, he's got new stuff now that we finished the area. Okay, what do you got? You're still selling this for 60,000. Jesus. Oh, neat. You sell the cat ring. Prevents damage from falls. No thanks. I'm good. Oh, boy. Well. Glitches, I'm gonna call it apart here. Because. This is gonna be hell. It's gonna be scary. Like, actually very, very scary. Next time. On part. Uh. This is part 10. Yes, this is part 10. On part 11, we're going to and clearing the Tower of Latria Area 2. And in my opinion, this is the biggest, well, maybe not biggest in si second biggest in size, biggest in terms of like the amount of stuff in it area of the game. There are two areas that are technically bigger, but this area is just so packed with so much. And it's so creepy and scary. I'm scared. <laughs> Please leave a like. Please subscribe. Description below for a bunch of free stuff as well as my Twitter and TikTok. You know, a bunch of free stuff for you guys in the description as well. Uh, I just did a raffle. Uh, not too long ago, uh, also part of this 200 subscriber goal. Uh, this playthrough was a 200 subscriber goal, and I had I threw in a raffle just for the heck of it. Uh, just so you guys get a little something extra out of it. So, yeah, description below, free stuff, and my Twitter and TikTok. You can follow me over there. <laughs> I'm always there. Always. <laughs> I'm always watching. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. 
Next time, part 11, Tower of Latria, we clear it. All of it. It's going to be hell. I'll see you then. See you around, witches. Bye-bye! This is gonna be a...